Hey guys, Cookie38 here, and I'm back with my weekly role playing. Uh, currently, I've got four of the six with me. I'm expecting a fifth. I don't know about the sixth. We'll have to wait and see. So, for the time being, just move Illus out of the way. So, at the moment, there is Will. Yeah. Andy. Hello. Danielle. Yo. And Michael. Hello. And hopefully Adam will be here for too long. I'm assuming he's having his tea. So, guys, recap of last week. Um, a lot went wrong. <laughs> but a bit went right. So, we find out why they're taking the shipments. Well, me and... Illus. Yeah. And there's a secret door. Which I don't think I told anyone about, but there was a secret door. Well, you could have, you had your net broke and you were pretty much unconscious. Oh yeah, there was a reason. I forgot about that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you, could, you tried to jump off the roof, he just tripped and fell. Wah, <laughs> 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 punk! <laughs> I think I broke my neck, like I went off the face first. Hmm. I was, for some reason, diving. Well, you tried to jump, you caught your foot, you just kind of went face first. Excellent. Is that fixed? What the, the neck? Oh, it's it, it, it's. Who can fix a broken neck? That's not serious, right? Ah, uh, no one sealed it. It usually it can be serious. <laughs> right. Anyway, so um, uh, we'll pick up the next morning with um, uh, Jonathan and Marceline went to sleep outside uh, the other tavern. Everyone else was at the Laughing Lamia. Mm -hmm. So what's happening today? Um, no idea what the plan was. Well, I think the plan. Well, I don't even know if I can speak. Can I speak? <laughs> I can speak, right? Yeah, you you would have regained consciousness. Your neck's in a lot of pain, though. You you should <laughs> you should probably get one of the paladins to look into that. One of the pa Well, yeah. I mean, they're not yeah, there at the moment, I'm though. Where they are? <laughs> where are those paladins? Well, see, with me and Jonathan, I feel like we're just too recognisable to go back there. So. <laughs> I mean, I can also disguise myself. I mean, I walked in fine. Yeah, but you're like 11, so... <laughs> <laughs> People don't see you as a credible threat. Oh! It's fine. Wow. Not first glance, anyway. Yeah. I, oh. I don't think I can go back to that, though. Okay. Oh, by the way, well, just, just real quick. With your 5th edition, Sessions when you start running them. What are the ground rules for ca for making for, for making characters? Uh, how do you mean? Cut. Like, are there any like restrictions on like classes and races and things like that that we can use? Because uh, I'm gonna think about putting a character. It. All right, cool. Because I'm gonna be fully thinking about uh, putting a character together for it. I kind of know what, so at the very least, what class I want to be. So I'll fully figure something out for that. Yeah, forty-six drop one, no rerolls. I'm thinking you can pick which dice go on which, but... So, 4d6, drop the lowest, no so rebels whatsoever, so if you get crap stats, that's just what you with. <laughs> yeah, but you can pick which stuff stats goes on, you don't have to do it in order. This is where I'm going to get crap for everything, just guaranteed. But anyway, sorry, back to this role playing. So, so are you and Jonathan going to make your way over to the other tavern? Well, no, I think uh, I shouldn't go back, because I bitch got the guy. <laughs> with a sword. <laughs> mm -hmm. Because I thought he was sending the guards to get me, you know. But you still think that? I still think that, which is why I'm not going back. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay. Jonathan can go back if he can decide himself. And fetch yeah, but he was. Back. Just thinking, who has though? <laughs> who could I disguise myself as? A generic guy. <laughs> just a generic, just a just random a person on the street. Yeah. All right. Is there a random person on the street next to us? Um. Yeah. All right. Pick him out. We're disguising as them. <laughs> and off we go. <laughs> what? What in front of them? <laughs> Well, they're walking off, aren't they? So I'll just walk. I know that there are a few people kind of staring at you because you've been sleeping on the street. 
in your wagon outside oh, of, shit. outside of working fucking tavern. Mm. Just cover himself up in the wagon. So those people see you turn to this person, go what the <laughs> fuck, and see see you go walking off, acting like nothing's just happened. Yeah, just keep going. Just gonna walk <laughs> off on city and see what's tavern. Okay, what's Marceline doing? Hanging out. H hanging out where? Yeah. Not a lion. I'm the wagon till for all the most. Till further notice. <laughs> okay, he's, he's, he's gonna go, Jonathan, don't wake me up while we're sleeping. <laughs> Bring the guys back, Jonathan. I'm just gonna. <laughs> 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 Oh, uh, all the fucking word. <laughs> um, get a room. No, it says you hear someone shout out, "Get a room." Fuck you! It's like, <laughs> like edge of the wagon without raising anything else, just a hand. <laughs> it's just like flipping them off. Yeah. Like, all right. So, uh, what's everyone else doing? I. I'm just gonna wait until someone can fix my neck. <laughs> I, I don't think I can walk, can I? Um, it's one of those things where if it was a full-on break of the neck, you'd have probably just died instantly. So yeah. it's not that you can't walk; it's just that you're. It's painful as hell. <laughs> it might be best if you just wait. To be fair. Just gonna wait. Is, am I, is anyone else with me? Uh, I, I think Willow, with me, but he's there, uh, is Willow, Bowden, and Illyris. Oh, I've got Willow. Oh, well. speaking of Adam. <laughs> speaking of Adam, he's just popped on. So, so Willow, what are you doing? I don't know. I could heal you with the staff I have, but I don't think it's gonna fix your neck. <laughs> what staff do you have? I have a wand of so cure not, moderate runes. So it's not a staff. I think. One this is a bit more serious than moderate. Yeah, ones. I know. Hi, Adam. Hey, you. Hey, yo. What? Was that you, Aaron? That me. <laughs> well, me. Right. No. Right. Okay. So, um, are we just we have just started, but <laughs> all right. I was about to say. So I'm up to you at the moment, that, and I probably won't be the most liveliest because I've done something to my neck and it's killing me. Oh god, like Dan did last week. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, and, and, and just so you know, Adam, in probably about an hour, an hour and a half's time, I'm going to have to kind of start keeping it down because my dad's up early for work and i got to be quiet. Right. Right, so, so I'll try and be as lively as possible too then. Fun times. Yeah. Right, anyway, so. Uh, Valden, it's the next morning. Uh, Dan does not want to move because he's in a lot of pain. Uh, and you don't know where Jonathan and Marcelina are. So, uh, Vald and Willow, what are you guys doing? Mm. Well, Vald and I kind of want to do. <laughs> well, 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 what do you want to do, Willow? <laughs> I don't know, I'll probably just stay in. I can send Cinders out to look for people. Will I not with those two? Did she not see where they went? What, Cinders? No. Or Willow? Willow. No, 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 no. Willow came back to this tavern. <laughs> yeah, as soon as I found out Cinders was <laughs> coming oh, back to oh, the yeah, tavern, I ran back. back. Right, yeah, and then okay. I magic missile the guy's hand. <laughs> yeah. And then hid, and then bluffed my way into the tavern. <laughs> okay. So, uh, so Willow, okay, what, what are you doing? No. We just stay here, or should, should I send Cinders to go find people? Oh. I don't know, you tell me what you're doing. I'm asking other people. <laughs> By other people, you mean Dan, who isn't the yeah. most lively right now. Oh, wait, is it only Dan that's there? Uh, well, 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 Adam sorted out food, so. Oh, right. Hmm. And obviously there's no Ryan. Hmm. Right. Go for the paladins. Right. Yeah. I need help. <laughs> no, it's so much pain. 
I'll send Cindy to Philip first. Okay. Uh, where are you sending Cinders? I don't know. Around the town. He's <laughs> gonna get captured again. I know! <laughs> very, I very know. vague. Just, oh, yeah, 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 just, just go look around town, Cinders, that's fine. Look in the area that around the tavern. How's that? Right. So Cinders will go off and do that. And be careful. <laughs> Stay hidden. <laughs> Stay hidden. It's the fucking little dragon. <laughs> How can he stay <laughs> hidden? <laughs> okay, so, um, uh, Jonathan, you're making yes. your way over. Hmm. Yeah. Right, right. Um, uh, you you see that the number of guards on the streets has increased. Oh shit! <laughs> All right. Okay, doke. Uh, other than that, nothing really eventful happens except that you actually see. Um... <coughs> Hang on. Oh jeez. Uh... Oh. You actually see um, uh, Victor out and about. I'm just gonna leave the crazy man all alone. <laughs> What's he doing? Well, he's um, got a vial of black powder and he's got, he's got everyone look, look! I can do things with it! I can Fuck. I can make things start! Look at this, you need fire started, this is the thing! Oh god. <laughs> yeah, just get away from it as quick as possible. Yeah, everyone else seems to be doing the same and um, after about a good 15 20 seconds, you hear. you uh, hear like. <sighs> Like a minute explosion, like like behind you, Fuck. And, you <laughs> and you turn around and you see and you see that Victor's face is just entirely black. His goggles have been cracked again, and he just go he just goes, ha, see, see, it works, it works perfectly. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking crazy bastard. <laughs> <laughs> That's the point. Yeah. Okay. So anyway, other than that, um. You uh, see cinders flying around. Hmm. It's, it's not gonna recognize me. <laughs> no, nope, she won't. Fuck, I can't do nothing about that. He's just gonna go. He's just gonna go off on his own. Even if I wave. By him the down, way, is cinders, a, is cinders a he or a she? Uh, hmm. A she. A she. <laughs> it's, a, it's, it's, it's a she. Sure. Why not? Why not? Well, uh, well, um, uh, Cinders is currently flying over your area, Jonathan. If you uh, wave me arms, I look weird. And they, uh, <laughs> and the uh, Cinders lands on like, like uh, a statue in like the centre of town. Oh, Fantastic, yeah. that's staying hidden. <laughs> <laughs> it's a big keep statue. It's a big statue. I um, keep an eye on him while I'm walking to the surface. Okay. Okay. Um, you see a few guys starting to head towards the statue. Shit. Oh, <laughs> stay hidden. They're, yeah, they're carrying a net. <laughs> they're getting a net out. they got a net. <laughs> they're getting a net. They've got one. Um, <laughs> they're, they're carrying it to us, the statue. What part of being careful stay hidden? Cinder can't understand. <laughs> what would you say, Jonathan? Hey? What'd you say, Andy? I'm going towards the statue myself as well, in a bit of a hurry. Okay. Okay, the uh, guards are, are getting ready to like lob the net up. Can I bull rush him? <laughs> <laughs> bull rush them? Yes. Yeah, sure, go ahead. Um, uh, hang on a second, I'm going to have to just grab my, grab my thing for the guys, because I didn't expect this. Um, I'm not the most subtle. <laughs> you crazy person! You're crazy! Alright, uh, can you make me a, a CMB check? Uh, uh, yep, you, you bull rush, you bull rush the guys. And as you bull rush them, the net drops on you. Oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Cinders oh, sees the... Stan Common, does he? Sa um, Cin... Ooh, Is actually. She? Let me, let me check. My <laughs> understanding... I don't think they do. I think it's just Draconic. Uh, but let me just check. I don't uh, think so, because you've said in the past that only... Yeah, and, yeah, just, uh, just Draconic, just, just Draconic, yeah. Um, yeah, Cinders sees the commotion, see the guys looking up, kind of looking down at this random person, and then looking up at her, and she flies away. 
Right. Oh, what Not the hell are you doing? <laughs> what the fuck were you doing? You under arrest I... for assaulting officer of law. I can't believe it. By who? Is this one nearby? <laughs> no, not particularly. <laughs> well, 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 I suppose there's plenty of people, but... <laughs> Is Victor nearby? <laughs> um, he's a bit... Um, uh, kind of so, not really. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know, he pushed me. I got pushed into you. I'm sorry. Really, because it kind of seemed to look to me like you were running towards us deliberately. I mean, that was just me, but... I would you, not do such a thing. You're not talking... Oh, dare you accuse me of this? You're not talking your way out of this one, fella. Get... And, and, and the guys kind of start grabbing hold of you, kind of like, while you're still in the net. <laughs> but I not. Can he... Can he do, an, like, an escape check? <laughs> what's trying... What's trying, like, overpower them get out of the net? Yeah. Would you, well, can you do a strength, uh, strength check first, please, to shrug them off? Shrug them off. Mm-hmm. Oh, it's better than mine. Oh. Well, it's better plus than mine. Yep, all three of them are holding on to you, and you just flex them off. <laughs> Let's see if I can get out of this fucking net. Oh, I'm not gonna be able to run away from it now. <laughs> well, do you have your arm on still? Yeah, I do. Well, so do they, but. Yeah, but I, could, <laughs> I only run the same speed, and it's also brand in the day. Oh, yeah, you don't like daylight that much, do you? Eh? Hey? Is it you who doesn't like daylight that much, or am I thinking of someone else? I think you might be thinking of someone else. Right. I know there was a race that someone was thinking of, but doesn't oh. like daylight. It's a drow. All right, fair enough. Because I was talking about trials. Yeah, was that, uh, what, what, what what was that? That was escape artist. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. You you struggle to get to kind of get it off. The guys kind of kind of leap on you again. God damn. <laughs> Recently, I've seemed to be getting us into a lot of trouble. We're cinders, oh. not you. Yeah, but I involuntary constant. <laughs> Three <laughs> sessions in a row. Do you, do you want to try and shrug them off again? Yeah, damn right I will. Okay, you shook two of them off, but one of them manages to maintain a hold. <laughs> Can I headbutt it? I want you to make me an... Uh, improvised oh. weapon attack. Oh. Which is a norm, which is a normal kind of like... Like an unarmed combat attack. I, I, actually, you know, actually, you know what? No, we'll count it as, una as unarmed combat. So, uh, just make me a, a, an attack, an attack roll. Oh shit! All right. Yeah, you definitely headbutt the guy, and he let and he lets go. All right, I'm gonna try and get out of the fucking net again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you, yeah, you managed to get out of the net. It wasn't a great net. You managed to get out of it. Alright, fucking bolting. <laughs> the guards are in pursuit. Oh, fine. Well... <laughs> um... Get back here, you're under arrest for assaulting officers! I'm gonna run into the tavern. Which no, tavern? To. Which tavern? No, I'm going to. Oh, okay, okay, so... So you burst in, into the tavern. Alright, uh, dis get out of my disguise. <laughs> get, out, get out of your disguise. Close the door, get out of my disguise. Okay, in front of the tavern keep. Yeah. Okay, cool. I have to. I have to. <laughs> okay, cool. Okay, cool. So you get out of sight, you're changing back into Jonathan, the guards rush in, and they go, they kind of look around like, like, I'm sure we saw anyone in here. Hey, hey, they touch you. Hey, you. Do I know you from somewhere? No. <laughs> What's wrong with your voice? Don't <laughs> over Oh, oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Uh, do you say, uh, but, uh, what did the guy look like who you turned into, by the way? Just give me a vague, just give me, just give me, just give me a vague, just give me a vague description of what you want him to look like. Uh, shit. Like, colour hair, colour, like, Brown clothing hair. he was wearing. Shaggy hair, beard. Okay, have you, excuse me, sir, sir, have you seen a, 
a brown hair, brown shaggy haired man with a, with a bushy beard and kind of like pretty tatty clothing on. And he came in here. You he ran out the back. He he ran out. Uh, he ran out. He ran out the back. Back. Yeah. Uh, oh God! They've probably used the second floor window again. Quick! We've got to go after them. Uh, God, the second person in freaking two weeks to use this fucking window. <laughs> And they go running off upstairs. Um, Willow, you hear this? You hear kind of uh, footsteps, kind of like coming up the stairs. Get back here, scoundrel! God, I'm gonna look so confused. Like, what's going on? <laughs> uh, on okay, okay, uh, okay. The the um uh, the the uh, guards are like right outside of your room. You open the door, and you see three guards there. Um, kind of like inspecting the window. Oh God! And they just go. Uh, and they just go, Wait, and they, do I make some uh, yeah, telepathy? Is that in close enough range? Uh, no. No, she's not in close enough. Oh, thank God. Uh, wait, is that a good thing? She's probably out searching. Yeah. Maybe. Still. Maybe. still. Well, well Master is sleeping under a fucking blanket, and Jonathan's down here. Although, <laughs> obviously, obviously, you guys don't know that yet. Um, <laughs> so anyway, so anyway. Um, the, the guy will go, 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 excuse me, little lady, um, did you see a bad man run this way and out this window, or? Nope, sorry, I've been too busy waiting for someone. Oh, uh, who are you waiting for? Are you waiting for your mummy and daddy? Yes. <laughs> okay, uh, what, what, um, uh, by the way, who's that in there with you? A friend, he's hurt himself pretty badly, so we're waiting for someone to come and help. Okay, oh, is that where your mummy and daddy have gone? Hmm? Yes. Oh, okay, okay. Okay, well, I hope they get back soon. Um, right, uh, right, come on, you two. We come on, you two. We're gonna see what we're, we're gonna have to do. Do a, a sound wide search for this guy. He will not get away from us. Wait, wait for us. Um, as the guy, as, as the guys come downstairs, they kind of start. Um, they stop in front of you, Jonathan. And they go and they go. If you see that man. Let let the ta let us guards know we have a score to settle with him. Okay. <laughs> F thank you, and I hope you get over your sore throat. Take care, and the and the mm -hmm. um all, and they all start kind of run out. <laughs> By the way, I don't know how that sounds <laughs> when I do that. I pitch face with that <laughs> fucking effect on. It 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 sounds like you're trying to hide something. <laughs> <laughs> Sweet. <laughs> That's what I to like. It does kind of like sound like that. So, um, so Jonathan, what are you doing now? So, so no one's downstairs. Uh, I can't see anyone downstairs. Uh, the tavern keeper's there. He just kind of looks yeah. at you and goes, "I'm just gonna look the other way." <laughs> and he kind of like he, he he just kind of puts his hand puts like his ha ha hand out like you know like like um palm up was kind of like just on the kind of like seemingly just resting it on the uh, on the bar top. I'm gonna go over to her. him. Is it him? It's okay. a he. It's a he. I thought it was a her. No, no, no. He has like female like like barmaids working for him, but that's why you guys knocked out. Uh, the one you, the one last thing knocked out was this guy, and it wasn't me. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He still, he still isn't looking at you. Um, he's still got his hand there. <coughs> Can I help you? Looking for a child, uh, a gnome, and a kind of like shit. What does Dan look half like? Elf. <laughs> they're, both, they're both half. Uh, uh, Illyris, I think, is a human, and, and Dan is a half elf. I mean, there's an image of me on my. Her lady, and a half elf. <laughs> Did he um, come in here? The townkeeper <laughs> goes, First of all, I don't think you understand what my ha this hand being there means, but well, it doesn't matter. Second of all, that sounds like the start of a really bad joke. <laughs> and thirdly, they're upstairs. You know, in the room that you guys all booked and paid for. Yes. I'm gonna go up there now. See you later. Yeah, I think you better. <laughs> One of your friends looks a bit worse for wear. Something wrong with his neck, I think. Can I just point out Marceline's the one with the heel skill? 
I know. <laughs> I just have to bring them to her. Yeah, it's kind of like just carry, it's kind of carry down on your shoulder. It's like, boss, we need your help. <laughs> okay, so uh, okay, so um, Willow, you hear some very, very heavy footsteps coming up the stairs. Okay. What are you doing? I don't know. Waiting. Is any sign of Cinders? What's that? Any sign of Cinders? I'm assuming she could come back. Back. Um. Uh. uh yeah. Yeah. So this is kind of sat on the windowsill by the uh, by the window. Okay. Find anything? <laughs> they talk to Cinders. <laughs> uh, telep telepathically, or just just going hi, Cinders. It's... No, it's draconic. I'm gonna talk to him draconic. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, which roughly tra translates to sorry, I, I couldn't see them. That's fine. I'll find them eventually. Door open, sorry. <laughs> For, right, right. Um, uh, well, I was talking about the window kind of out in the hall as opposed to one in your room. Oh, am I? Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so you, you turn around and you see Jonathan. Hey, Jonathan! I broke a stick. He needs help. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> that was really quick, holy shit. That was, what I got the, it, though, I got what, it. What, what did she say? Uh, Dan's hurt his neck. Oh, I thought you said Dan's oh, almost. I thought you said Dan's almost dead. <laughs> you need to take care of your, your bloody dragon. Why? What happened? Nearly got caught by the guards. She did. She didn't tell me that. But uh, um, they said they said Cinders will fly back. Some I know, but so I didn't think I needed it. But some random guy saved me. Oh, okay. That was nice of him. Come on, let's go. Fine. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. Oh, you hear Jonathan's va 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 va. I take no notice of that. Don't look for Dan. <laughs> it's demonic. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> I would know Joe Conning isn't demonic. How do you know? That's a good point. <laughs> That's a good point. <laughs> 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 I've already set to evil on both of them. They're fine. Uh, but we all know that rhyming is evil. Draconic and demonic. I'm <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm, so, I'm, so, I'm, <laughs> <devil. laughs> I'm I'm sorry. I'm such an evil twat. What? Cause I did it first. Did what first? Sorry. Right, rhymed the draconic with demonic. Oh my god. We both start with D. The and then in ick. <laughs> oh, onic. Sorry, in the end in onic. True. Mm, it's very true. No, they—they're good. They're good. I'm just pissing around with you, right? So, <laughs> right, so, right, so, right, so, you—you you, go—you go in to find Dan with his head kind of like, kind of like, um, on like a on like a pretty big slant, and he's just kind of lying there. <laughs> Not good, man. You look alright to me. I don't feel alright. <laughs> <laughs> Where is Marceline? Sleeping outside the other tavern. What do you mean he's sleeping? Why is she? She. She. <laughs> she. Is she? Is she coming here? Probably not. Probably not. <laughs> You're kind of a running with the barkeeper. All right. That's I'm running. All right. <laughs> Oh yeah, because Dan doesn't know about that. <laughs> Dan, I, don't I think it's Dan, Dan Valden and Lewis had no idea about that. He told us. Well, he told everyone else while I was unconscious. <laughs> Our friends knocked him out. <laughs> I don't know well, how he... He's alright with you. I don't know how he could, considering Jonathan never came back here last night. No, he told Valden and Illus. Hello! The barkeep told him. Yeah, he did. Oh, yeah, okay. I didn't think he was alright with me either, but apparently so. What well, can you yeah, get Marceline? What are you saying, Can you bring Marceline here? I'm in a lot of pain right now. We might just have to drag you over there. <laughs> I just. Ah. Oh. Fine. 
It's a bad can situation. Walk? Can I walk on my own? Um, barely. I'll just, no I'll just, just carry him all the way there. How are you no, carrying him? How are you... No, he's not, but how are you carrying him? Would I know that? The comfiest position to carry someone? <laughs> <laughs> or would I just like fucking sling him over my shoulder? <laughs> you better I told you my neck was broke. Bad to cat. Could I cradle him? I don't know if I could. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what do you mean like cradle him? Just hold him, into, hold him in my arms like fucking... A damsel in distress. Yeah. Uh, you could if you wanted. <laughs> it's gonna be easier for his neck. He will, yeah. Yeah, I'm just gonna cradle him all the way over to Vasily. Okay. Okay, so, so Dan, so, so um... Uh, actually, you know what? Um, Jonathan, I want you to roll me a d20. Just a straight d20. Okay. <laughs> oh dear. Oh. oh dear. Yeah, I, I, I was, I was going to do it kind of like a straight kind of roll against me. I rolled a 20. Oh, are you fucking serious? Okay, so what this means is you try your best to make Jonathan feel comfortable. It actually makes him feel worse. Love but that. you but 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 you think you're doing a good job, so you don't really pay much attention to it. <laughs> so you just see so he's kinda like so he's just kinda like bounding down the stairs. His uh, the position of your arm is kinda like on his kinda like on his neck every time you do it, his he's kinda like bobbing up and then his neck is kinda like hitting your arm <laughs> like every time. <laughs> I mean he's not complaining so far. <laughs> I'm not changing. <laughs> No, he's not complaining because he um he can't because every time he tries to complain, he just goes. Yep, yep, yep. <laughs> <laughs> so 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 Jonathan carries Dan very comfortably question mark question mark <laughs> over to where Marceline is. Um, but when you guys get there, you find that there are uh, a bunch of guards by the um uh, by the wagon. Um, Will, Jesus are you here? Christ. Mm -hmm. Right, okay, so we're just gonna kinda, kinda cut to what just happened with you, alright? Mm -hmm. So, so if you're just sleeping there, then you kinda, then you kinda get, appro you get applauded by something. Hi. Hi. Yeah, role playing. Sorry about that. Right, so right, so so what happens is you 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 get you get uh, prodded by something. Right. Wait. Don't even look me. I can bat it away. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> For, oh, I wake up. What? What? Uh, you you open your eyes and lift your head to see that there's uh, a group of guards kind of looking down at you, and they go and they go and they go. Look, you can't sleep here. There's a tavern right there. Why not go sleep in there? It was late. I didn't have like funds. Was tired, mate. <coughs> right, right, right. Anyways, I'm sorry. You, you're gonna have to move, okay? You're gonna have to get up and you're gonna have to move. You're in the way. And just, just as this is, just as this is going on, um, you see another three guards running up, and they go, and they go, oh guys, 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 we're gonna need your help finding someone, um. Uh, and they and they reel off the description of like you know like brown shaggy hair bushy beard tatty clothes etc etc um, that like that description and then they got they got this that, that uh you 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 remember that little nuisance dragon like thing that that we've been told we need to catch but like yeah they're like okay well we found it by the statue and we were about to throw a net up and try and catch it but then that guy decided to um uh, shoulder tackle me. Uh, which caused us to, uh, well, not be able to throw the net. So now we're looking at, we're looking for him, and he also headbutted me. me. And you can see he's got like a bit of a bloody nose. So, 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 so we're now after the guy for, um, for assaulting, for assaulting, um, uh, the, uh, so assaulting the town guard, and for escape and for resisting arrest. Sounds like a bad dude. Oh yeah, oh yes, very, very much so. Oh yes, very much so. Um, I don't suppose you've seen anyone, have you? No, I've been in sleep like all morning, man. 
Right, okay, well, if you do see so someone like that, you know, someone who looks like it. Freeze! Freeze, we got there, they, they go running, they go running after a guy who looks just like that. They go, no. they go, and they go, get out of the ground! Because all get out of the ground! <laughs> <laughs> the news is like, oh, whoa, whoa, what the hell's going on? I, well, what, I haven't done anything, I haven't done anything. You're under arrest for assaulting, for assaulting to a town guy and resisting arrest. Well, I haven't done anything, I've been here all morning just staring at that person sleeping. Ah, oh, no, we know, yeah, we know your face. It's very distinct. Very distinct, and so they, they pick the guy up and start cutting cat him away. Um, as they're doing that, um, everyone else kind of shows up, and that's the first thing that you guys see when the guys kind of like turn around and start walking towards you, with that guy <laughs> being dragged away. <laughs> God. I wonder what he did. <laughs> yeah, weird. <laughs> uh, That's some good justice right there. <laughs> <laughs> Jonathan! Well, at least we're probably powers because of this. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we'll see, we'll see. Oh, fuck. We're gonna see what happens next. So, so, um... Uh, Martin, you see Jonathan. You see everyone else, and uh, Dan is being carried by Jonathan. You can see. You could see straight away that Dan is not looking very comfortable in a good position. Hi, Adam. Yeah. Hello. Hello. Uh, meander over. In there. Yeah. Uh, Give me one over. Okay. Uh, it'd be heal. Yeah, I think you're the only one with heal, so <laughs> kind of need you. Such skill. No, yeah, you're yeah, it's fuck. <laughs> <laughs> you can tell there's something wrong with his neck, but you don't know what. Hmm. I uh, drop a localized lay on hands on it. Alright, cool. Do you want to roll for healing then? Mm. Right, Dan, you get that much health back. You doing it better? No. Do I? No. No. No, no, no. no. terrible. Right, so to keep in mind is magical healing, for the most part, what probably what meant something like that. That's why I said use the heal skill. Because with the heal skill, you know kind of like how to like, you know, use like compressors and like herbal medicine and stuff to like, you know, make it, you know, feel better. Oh, hey. I'm, I can't do shit with this, but I know a herbalist. Is this Victor? Oh no, this is the other, this is the other person. Uh, d next to the other bug. Ah, yeah. Yeah. That person. I don't think you ever asked for her name. I think I did, I can't remember it. I can't remember it either. <laughs> it was a nice name. Oh yeah, it was a kind of flower, I think. Yeah, probably. I think it was yeah, I think it was like Lily or something like that. Yeah, probably. That's I, I'm, I'm just going to go with that because that's all I can fucking remember. I'd have to watch one of the other videos to find out. <laughs> so like... Alright, right. yeah, man. Best friend, Lily. Just, yeah, let's go talk to her. But, I'm good at this shit. Okay, so okay, so uh, is Jonathan just bounding off with um jo with Dan again? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> well, yeah, yeah, yeah. Marceline, you notice that 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 Dan's head looks like he's kind of like hitting Jonathan's arm constantly. <laughs> hey, man, man, be, be general, dude. It's a neck injury. Chill. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Can I do another roll to try again? <laughs> For, um, I how careful are you going? To, are you just trying to be? If you're being like stupidly careful to the point that you're moving at like two miles a fucking hour, if that you know, if if you if you're going like like tiptoe like baby steps, then you don't no. need to. But all right, yeah, make it a roll. <laughs> I'm not gonna say mm. uh, <laughs> a bit a bit better, but it, it's not doing it as often. Uh. <laughs> like, That's the best you can do. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> I just I cushion it a bit with like a clock or something, you know. Yeah. 
Bra oh, brace it. And brace it a little bit with some stuff. Alright, what are you using? Uh, uh, <laughs> I've got an empty book. I'll, prop, I'll straight in the neck with that and then wrap up like bit An empty of book? <laughs> yeah. Where'd you get an empty book from? From me? <laughs> oh, that one! Mm -hmm. Right, the strength book, right, okay. Okay, um, yes, you can, uh, can you maybe another, uh, heal check, please? Right, okay, um, you, you do a decent enough job of kind of bracing it. It still doesn't look particularly comfortable, but it might be a bit better. <laughs> right, there you go. I might stop it from breaking again. So. <laughs> <laughs> Break it again. Off we go. Let's oh. skip down the street. <laughs> <laughs> Literally skip down the street. <laughs> yeah, everyone else sees Jonathan just skipping down the street. <laughs> Get there faster. <laughs> okay. Actually, I don't know where I'm going, so <laughs> I need to be following Marceline. Follow me back to that bomb and then we go next door. So. Okay. 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 So uh, on the way there, the rest of you, uh, we'll we'll see Victor. You would have seen him on the way back, but he was just kind of like you know cleaning himself up. He accidentally um, uh, shoulder badges uh, Jonathan. Well, I say shoulder badge Jonathan when I meet his Jonathan or no, trying to shoulder badge him. <laughs> he's that's what more like. I glare at him. He's like, he's like, he's like, oh, sorry, 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 sorry. Wait. Glare. Do I, do I know you? Oh, fuck. <laughs> Bro, <laughs> Fucking bothering me while I'm helping somebody. <laughs> All you see is, you just see him kind of stare at you. And then keel over backwards. Yeah. Splitting his head open. Oh sh <laughs> shit! With uh, a lot of liquid coming from his uh, trousers, and now a foul smell. Oh fuck! Whoops! Gently, and I'm just like, dude, I've told you. <laughs> Same guy. <laughs> Sorry. Apologize to me. <laughs> <laughs> I helped Victor up. Victor's just out cold. Learn <laughs> <laughs> <Their> hands. Alright, <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. You, you managed to close the head wound. But he's still unconscious. Wait, he's still unconscious? Yeah, he's unconscious. He he fainted. Oh, he fainted. Uh, kind of a scary sight. Wait, what's that? Kind of a scary sight. <laughs> scary sight. You don't need it. Like that. You fucking fuck with it. Smell something. I wave it under his nose. First, wait, wait, what? Under his nose? Sorry. Some oil. <laughs> Some oil. Uh, it doesn't seem to do anything. <laughs> <laughs> I guess just take him back to his house. <laughs> Where is it though? Is it on the way? No. Isn't it? I thought it was. No, it's on it's uh, on the uh, north part of the town. You guys are going to like the the uh, kind of um uh, west southwest part. Just jumping in my alleyway. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Wow Wow <laughs> Well, his neck isn't broken, alright? He can't wait. <laughs> I totally forgot to mention, I was totally going to bring the cat, so... But you're bringing the cat? Yeah, yeah, I don't want oh. to leave it in front of the pub, so I'll just put him in the cat. <laughs> I could have done that with Dan. <laughs> I was like, I'm in the cat. Because <laughs> Jonathan was like, okay, we're going, bring... and started running off. I didn't know where he was bringing it. <laughs> I didn't either, I don't think any of us did. <laughs> Oh, I didn't want to leave it in front of the pub again. 
Just gonna, I guess. Okay. Right, did you say he ran off? Or? What? Oh no no no, say... no 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 Jonathan Jonathan didn't put Dan in the car because I I say because because he started like skipping away. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but he had to stop at some point to be told off by me about Victor. So. I'm like, wait, I'm on the cart right now. Put him in the car. And I drag Victor. Up. Yeah, I'll just put him on the cart. I put Dan on the cart. As well. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. So stick to him down in the back of the cart. Uh, what are Willow and Bowden doing? Can I just be on the cart with a hangover? <laughs> uh, alright, alright, sure, what's Willow doing? I'm oh, no, just following. You just kind of walking <laughs> along. Yeah. <laughs> alright, then we, then we go to the hangover. Okay. Okay, so after that debacle... <laughs> uh, you eventually get to the herbalist. Um... The um, uh, the door is closed, uh, but there is a sign saying, uh, "Come on in, we're open." In what? Come on in, we're open. I, I give it a knock and then walk in. Lily. Lily. Oh hi! Oh hi! Uh, I haven't seen you for a while. How have you been? Good. Thanks. Uncle. Fine. Thank you. Ah, that that's good to hear. Right, just just Wrong don't. Customer. Oh, oh. just don't jump from second story windows anymore. I shall endeavour not to. Thank you. <laughs> I'm with Jonathan in with Dan. Brought you a new case. Oh, well, and what seems to be the problem? I'm not sure what it did, but it's broken a very integral part of him. Uh, Ill Illus will explain what happened with the whole him. He fell off the roof of a building and landed on his neck. <laughs> and you go, ooh, go back on serious, it's a, it's a miracle he's not dead. Yeah. Can you do something? Yeah, 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 sure, bring him in and we'll see what we can do. You got any smelling salts? Oh, we're gonna do it out cold. Uh, how strong do the smelling salts need to be? Probably pretty strong, he works with that black shit that probably killed his nose a little, so. Oh, oh, you mean Victor? Yeah. As long as he doesn't come in. <laughs> oh, don't worry. <laughs> he doesn't get to come inside. Good, good. I, I quite like the place as it is. I don't want it to burn down. But anyway, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll mix something up for, for Victor once I've seen to your friend. Very good. Friend. So, so she'll, she'll, um, uh, um, she'll kind of beckon for, for, uh, for uh, uh, Dan to be put on like a table, like a wooden table. <laughs> I'm, cause I'm assuming Jonathan's carrying him. Yeah. <laughs> yeah just, just, pop just pop him. Just pop him. Just pop him down. How gentle are you being? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this guy drop yeah. him slightly. Just <laughs> like, whoa, careful, careful, careful. We need. God, do, do, if you keep doing that, his deck will be beyond repair. Yeah, I told you, Jonathan. Be gentle. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's not me, you need to apologize to. So she she has she has she has she has a look at Dan and she uh, uh, and, and she goes and she goes, you said the guy's name was Dan, yeah? Right. Yeah. Dan, can you hear me just fine? Uh yes. Good, good. Now I want you to tell me when it starts hurting, okay? And she starts kind of moving yeah, kinda of like slowly back up to like its normal position. Uh after like a look like almost as soon as she starts doing it, it starts hurting. Everywhere, everything uh, hurts. Uh, ooh, okay. Um, <laughs> right, and she kind of like lifts your head up ever so slightly. Be very gentle, though. It still hurts a bit. And she'll go, and she'll go. Ah, it actually looks like you may have uh, broken one of the bones in your neck. Um, right. The only th that so we need to. Uh, I'll put some home medicine on it, but then we need to kind of compress it in its kind of original upright position until the bone heals itself. Usually takes a few days. A few days. Excellent. Luckily, we have nothing to do in the next few days. <laughs> okay. Okay. So. Okay. So I'll. I'll just go. I'll just go prepare what. Prepare what we need. Um. Uh, feel free to look at my wares while you're here. And I. Uh, and she kind. And she kind of goes off and starts like gathering like various things from different jars, and starts like. 
crush in like some herbs and plant stuff together. Oh, my tea's ready. I gotta go eat food. <sighs> God damn it, Dan. I can stay for like five minutes if you need. Yeah, that never be. Nah, it's fine. <laughs> just, just, just go grab your tea and have it up here. Alright. Alright, so, alright, so, um, what's everyone else doing while she's preparing this stuff? I'm trying desperately to recall what the revolutionary plan was. It was that you were, uh, going to find out where the, the wagons of exotic animals would go, of animals were going, and then you were going to go and basically, um, interrupt this fighting ring to cut off the flow of income for... Fred Wu? Yes, I wasn't sure if it was like a secret way into somewhere else and we were going to hit something, I don't know. Okay, cool. Well, it, was, it was the fighting ring itself that you were going to hit. Yeah. Well, I remembered that, so now I'm just kind of thinking about shit. Mm. Okay. Mm. Okay, so she's, just, so she's just playing things. Um, uh, you hear a knock on the door. And she goes, and 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 Lily goes, goes, goes. Yes, it's open. Coming in, and the the door opens, and uh, you see a few guards, <laughs> and they just go. Excuse me, I couldn't help but notice uh, old man Victor in this wagon here. What's going on? Yeah, look, it's not Jonathan, and uh, we're getting him some smelling salts. Makes you feel better. Which one's Jonathan? The big fucker. Say hello, Jonathan. <laughs> Should I glare at him? <laughs> oh my god. Yes, intimidatingly. Uh, Intimidating glare at him. Ah, oh, I didn't do the, that well the, that time. The, this is where I was expecting a one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but no, no, this seemed a bit kind of like... Hi, what happened? Jonathan was carrying the friend there, the one lying down. Right. And oh, what happened so to him? Oh, wait, is he the one who fell off the roof last night? Yes, yeah, you remember. And, um, <laughs> on the way, we ran into Victor, who's met Jonathan Duvall. It was less than nice. And then, shoulder checked him, and Victor got a little frightened. <laughs> okay, okay. So, God, just, just. Just wake him up for God's sake! It doesn't look like look good when you got someone unconscious. It's a freaking cart. It came from smelling salts. You just think Dan's more important, and I trust Lily. She's a very good person. Well, well, that well, that she is. None of us can complain and argue about that. So, look, look. At the very least, can you? Is it possible to bring him inside? No. Have you smelled him? <laughs> yes, we have. Yes, we have. I will put it. I tell you what. I go outside with him, and I put a blanket over him so they can't see him. <laughs> that just makes it look worse. Looks like he's trying to hide something. Well, no, you know he's there. I yeah, know he's there. Yeah, we do. But back, the so next car like, patrol comes down the road won't. Yes, they'll just see a blanket. <laughs> and the wonder was underneath it. Well. They can go on wondering. This will be fine, <laughs> surely. Uh, you know what? Fine, whatever, whatever. But if the next patrol stops and knocks on the door and wonders what the hell's going on, don't blame me. Look, I'll I'll try and wake him up quickly. Don't worry. Good. Please do. And they they go walking off. Well, well, As go out I late, swear I'm, that person. I get back inside. And no, no, uh, can you make me a perception? Check. Can you make me a perception check, Marceline? Oh, what now? A perception check. Seven. This might end up being a, a shorter session because um, uh, because of my parents. I'm to, uh, because my dad wants to go to sleep. Yeah, you'll hear this. Oh, um, kind of like um, um, as the guys walk away, the um, the, the one who was talking to you will go. Will go. I could have sworn I've seen that person before. I don't know. Oh, fuck. I duck back and sheepishly and go to the other door and just like wait by it. <laughs> okay, okay. Um, uh, Lily has has after about another five ten minutes, Lily has finished crushing things and making making kind of like a green kind of paste, which she got. 
and she goes, and she goes, and she goes, stand by. This is this is gonna hurt a bit. Um, while well, we just compress it into place, you know. But um, um, we'll we'll, we'll brace it when it's in the right position. So she starts kind of like moving, like moving his head, and, he, and she kind of looks to Jonathan. She goes, "You look pretty strong. Do you mind just holding his head in place for me?" Sure. <laughs> okay. Okay. Dan is in a lot of pain. Um, and she said, um, and while while you're holding the head, she starts kind of like um, um putting on this like green paste, kind of kind of like um around like the back of his neck, um, and then she got and she goes, oh, and she goes okay, and she kind of looks around and she she's got like a bit of, essentially a bit of wood, um, and she and she kind of like just props that kind of like a back of his neck, and, and then she goes, um, do you mind just holding this this wood now, please, as well? Yeah. Thank you, thank you. And then she goes off and grabs some bandages and starts bandaging up his neck with the thing on it. And and you know, after about you know like thirty, forty seconds of her kind of like taking the bandage round and round, she she ends up going right. And she, she kind of ties it. She 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 cuts it off with like a pair of scissors and then ties it up. And she go, and then she goes right. That should hold. Um, don't now. Don't do it. And then she goes down right. Don't do anything strenuous for the next few days. And then come back to see me. And then we'll look together off and see how you feel. Right, so is, is there anything else? Uh, oh yes, the spelling salts, of course. Uh, g give me a second, this probably won't take too long. And you, and, and you, and you say, go, go, go back over, and she gets kind of like standard like smelling salt kind of thing, kind of stuff. And then she gets, um, and, then, and then she kind of like reaches underneath, she pulls out like a bottle of alcohol. And she had you pass with that in, in, in with the smelling salts, and again uses some more plant stuff, and then she just kind of like um, is it she like um starts to crush it slightly, kind of like mix it together, and then she goes, and she goes right, I think this should be strong enough, and then she and then she goes outside, and she, then she, then she uh, uh, goes outside if anyone wants to go with her. I'll probably, I'll probably stay inside. <laughs> probably for the best. Right. Um. So, Marceline, what you will see is is, is that is that um she puts it right under Victor's nose, and within about fifteen twenty seconds, he like jolts away, just like it's like oh, 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 what what up? Wait, what what what? what? Oh, Lily, hi. Uh, wait, what, why am I here? What happened? I remember seeing someone scary, and then I don't remember anything after that. Is is that is that is is that scary man around? And she goes. Uh, no, I no, I don't think he's in the area. I think he's gone off somewhere else. And it's, and it's like, oh thank God, oh thank God, thank you, Lily. You're such a lifesaver. I, I, I better get back to work. And, like, and she's like, yeah, you probably, you probably should. Have a good day, Victor. He's a, and Victor, Victor kind of go goes wandering off, kind of like clutching his head, just like, oh, I don't feel great. Ugh. God, I can't experiment. Huh? Huh? But Lily just kind of. Yeah, <laughs> Lily li li just kind of looks at you and just goes, "That's just how you deal with him." <laughs> he often comes here just looking for someone to talk to. You're a kind, kind woman, Lily. I, I, I try to be how I was raised. So, anyway, anyway, so uh, like I mentioned earlier, um. Your friend, try not to do anything too strenuous in the next three days with him. Um, after that, he should be good to go. Thank you. How much do we owe you? Oh, oh, oh yeah. She got, and she got, and she got, and she goes. Um, now I won't charge you for the smelling salts because uh, occasionally this that happens with with Victor. He will faint at sometimes even the slightest thing. Um. So for everything else, I'd probably say enough two gold. I reach into Dan's money bag. Guys, she goes. Pleasure doing business. Uh, hopefully, you won't uh, have to come back to me anytime soon. I can, but right. We'll just take care of yourselves, okay? And remember, nothing strenuous. Knocking it down. <coughs> grounded, Lily. Pardon? We'll keep him grounded. Good, good. I know what you adventure types are like. No higher than the first floor for this one. 
<laughs> okay. Okay. So, so what are you guys doing next? Uh, shit. If we've got a, if we've got a rest for like three fucking days, so Dan, Dan's head doesn't fall off when he fires his gun. Because <laughs> you know it's it's not exactly gentle, is that? I know. Those animals aren't gonna last three days. I mean, we could just take the next. I mean, uh, we could just take the next one. We could find something else. Well, we can find something else to do, which doesn't require Dan to do anything <laughs> strenuous. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. Well, I suppose it depends. Uh, does anyone have anything they want to do for the next three days? No, I don't have enough money. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I, I, I still have to find someone to tan some of this red dragon hide, but... Mm. It's gonna be me finding someone to do that for the next three days, and not actually doing it. Unless I can try with, like... Something I know how to do. With my craft skill of one. <laughs> uh, what craft have you got? It's not even written in, so... <laughs> I don't think I have <laughs> to use it. Yeah, but why do you put something in craft? Well, the whole idea with like craft and profession is that you choose oh, something I'm not, immediately. Yeah, I'm not ranking it. That's just from the uh, modifier for intelligence. Oh, okay, fair enough. Right. <laughs> then, then yeah, you you it in it, it'd be at like five because it's a class skill. It's then yeah, craft. then yeah, yeah. You can't really use it that well. You would probably need to find someone to to like tan the hide for you. Yeah, I guess I'll go do that. <laughs> no one else has what to do. I stick my head back into Lily's place and I'm like, yo, you, you know a good tanner? A tanner? Um... Is he just thinking, ah, I think there's one near the, near the weaponsmith. Which is where? Uh, near, near Victor's. Okay, thank you. No worries. Uh, what, what, right, well, what's what? everyone else doing? Jonathan, what are you doing? Hmm. I think I should really repent my sins <laughs> of framing somebody. Okay, um, what, what's Willow doing? I have no idea. <laughs> Well, it's supposed to depend. You've got like you and Valden have like a crap ton of money, but you don't spend it on anything. Because I don't know what to spend it on. Usually, things like like um, uh, scrolls that you can put into your spell box, so you get more spells. And you know what else is really useful? Potions. Just potions of stuff. Hmm. Yeah, potions. They're super uh, expensive, but super useful. <laughs> I guess I'll go do that. If someone would come with me, though, because I'm not very good at haggling or knowing about these things at all, so... <laughs> Valdon, you, Valdon, you can buy shit, right? Um, uh, I, I think so. <laughs> well, the, the, guy, the guy who asked for, who had a phrase was uh, Jacob's um, wizard. He's the one who had a phrase. Yeah, but, like... I'm sure he's got like good charisma or something so he can haggle. Oh, my charisma is at minus one. Oh, oh. my uh, charisma is quite high, but. <laughs> but because right, of the personality. You know, like the numbers. And you can do the haggling. <laughs> I think. I was just sort of going on a bit of tangent. I think Critical War had like the best thing of haggling that I've ever seen. Just because it was just hilarious. It was freaking Gro uh, Gro uh, Grog the Goliath Barbarian. Ha, um, wanted kind of like this like strength potion that wasn't even that great to be honest, and uh, but the merchant kind of because he because he's not intelligent the merchant kind of like sold it to him like like it was like the best thing ever and he believed him so he gave up like a load of like dragon stuff and yeah. seriously have you seen that one Bill? Yeah, dude. Just, yeah, <laughs> yeah. It was old, the dude was like like Grog told him how much shit he had. You know, like yeah, yeah. Five, God, God, like fourteen dragon teeth, four vials of dragon's blood, my like a gel. Yeah, but yeah. Then, and then the guy was like, "I think I can sell it to you for like two vials of dragon blood and some thingy magic." And all the teeth. And I was like, "Wait, I should haggle." 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. How about all the dragon sleep and three fouls of hours of blood? The virgin just gonna see this hand out. Done. <laughs> Fix would be so proud of me. <laughs> I love that one. It was great. <laughs> to be honest, Kirkwood was just hilarious in general. But yeah, yeah. So, um, so Valden and Willow are gonna go do that. Jonathan's repenting his sins. Dan's been left in the wagon. <laughs> yep. Uh, yeah. on, what, is, is anyone taking the wagon with them? I mean, I'll take it. I'm okay. And also, just chill out next to the wagon. Okay. Watch that outside Lily. It's just kind of like just, just chill out there. <laughs> You are there with pepper bits. Forgive me, Lord, for I have sinned. That 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 kind of repented. Yeah, I was thinking about uh, was it flag flagellation? Is that it? Self flagellation. But I don't have a whip. I don't know. You could probably go find one. <laughs> but I don't think it's it's for different sins though. Well. Well, an innocent person was fra was framed and arrested. How serious thing that is? I mean, it sucks. And it was me. It was well. Hmm. I guess it's not one hundred percent serious because you'll be let off, probably. Okay. Well, as about later on today, I cast my evil on you and just hit you a bunch. <laughs> <laughs> oh fuck! <laughs> Wait, could this smite? No, no, so smite evil won't work. Oh no, it will! <laughs> he's off, he killed me! He's just off for evil! <laughs> oh yeah, he's, te he's technically law for evil! <laughs> Actually, yeah, go on. Oh! Just if, the ones. If, right, if, you know. if, if, if Jonathan dies now. He won't kill me. No, she won't kill me. But it'll do damage. Triple 20! <laughs> Triple 20! <laughs> Oh shit! <laughs> Triple twenty. <laughs> oh god. Uh, yeah, it's. <laughs> I right. definitely hits. Now. Well, 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 no, no. We'll go do all the other things first. So we'll start with Marceline with, uh, without Dan, because Dan's left in the cart with Jonathan outside Lilith. Why not? Um. And um, you do see, yeah, you do see the tanner. Uh, you can tell it's the tanner because there is kind of, you know, like leather hide, like outside, like drying in the sun, <laughs> that that kind of thing. Um, you can you can also see that it is a um, someone who specialises in fletching, like like arrows and bows and things like that. Mm -hmm. Right. Hey, old tan man. Oh, fuck. Uh, they turn around and reveal themselves to be a woman. <laughs> can lady. Yeah, but I, say, I just did that because she just said, oh, hey, can man. <laughs> she, she, goes, she, she just goes, hi, how, how can I help? Can you tan some red dragon hide? Because some is the, qualif is the quantifier in this. Yeah, yeah but it's about to say, how much is some? Well, you said some, and that's what I writ, so, wrote. Hello again, fellows. Oh, hello, yeah. Dan. Uh, you, you, your neck has been kind of compressed and braced properly. Uh, you've been told to rest for about three days, or well, a few days, she said. And then to go oh, back, to, and then to go back to her afterwards to make sure that things have gone right. Okay, then. I like them. Okay, so. Uh, currently, you are lying in the cart. Jonathan is repenting for his sins. Uh, Willow and Valen have gone off uh, to buy things and Marceline has... Uh, I assume Illyris is following the cart with you. Well, well, is nearby with the cart with you and Jonathan. And then Marceline has gone off to find someone to um, tan the dragon hide. I think... Oh God. There's some red dragon I don't like about this one. Uh, and, she, uh, and, she, and she goes, okay, uh, well, what do you want to use it for? Like, making stuff? Like, I don't know, cloak? Leathery kind of cloaky thing, or leathery... I, I could cloaky. make that into a cloak for you. Yeah? Right, I'm just trying to, right, she's like, she's like, okay, let's see. 
She's that size, like working out. Okay, I think I could probably have a good working cloak for you in about four to five days. That sounds good. Right, it will cost. It will. It will cost. Right, and you're just gonna have to give me a second here, okay? Yeah. I don't know, would it come under this? Quite possibly, I can't quite tell. Uh, one second, sorry. Right, I'm just gonna actually just search for this. One second. Oh god, what am I looking for? Um, oh, I know, I think I know what I want. Uh, uh that really isn't what I wanted, but hey, ho, whatever. And she'll go, so she'll, so she'll go. This will probably cost about oof, about one thousand five hundred gold. Okay, can probably rustle up about that much. Half now, half later. She can look. She she can look. She and goes. Hmm. Can you make me a uh, diplomacy check, please? No. Sugar, sugar. Hmm. Unfortunately, I have dealt with your type before, and oh. there has been more than one p occasion where I've done a deal like that, and they have never paid the other half. Well, I've done deals like this before as well, where I've come back after having paid the full amount. And they've gone! So... Have you actually, or is this a bluff? It's probably a bluff, yes. Make a bluff check. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not quite good at it. <laughs> You're not good at diplomacy either. Sugar. Fine. Half now, half later, and if you don't come back, you're getting an arrow through the face. Look, if I don't come back, you've got 750 gold and a clock. For... No, no, I mean if you come back and you don't have the amount. I wasn't expecting you to give me it if I didn't pay you the full amount. For... That would be silly. Good, good, I'm glad, we have an, I'm glad we have an understanding. Sorry for being leery, but... You've just got to be careful. Some people will not pay. I don't know. Right. There is seven hundred and fifty gold. Right. Uh, right. Right. So you hand it over. She. She kind of. She. She looks at it and then kind of like puts her hand out and goes. Deal. Deal. What's your name? I shake the hand. Hang on. Ugh. Oh, I need a freaking drink. Sorry. Uh, that's not her name. <laughs> I steal it. <laughs> I need a fucking drink. Okay, yep, you're in the book. <laughs> Shut up. If you can't tell, I'm stalling because I don't have a name for her. 
Because I get... I'm useless, I think, coming up with names. This is the problem I've got, I can't come up with fucking names. Well, it's written in my inventory and I was debt to Tanner 750, so just call it Tanner. That's kind of a name. <laughs> no, hang on. Right, I'm just gonna have to fucking look this up, sorry guys. Lucina. Lucina Tanner. Lucina dog shit. <laughs> You can use dog shit to tan stuff. <laughs> and it was frequently used to tan stuff. Oh my god. While you're coming up with a name, mm -hmm. I come back upstairs to the guys and I'm like, I'm gonna need to borrow like 750 gold in a while. <laughs> you're flush, right, Valden? <laughs> if he's not gone. <laughs> I've already gone. Yeah, they've already gone. They didn't come with you, remember? You went. You went. And take <laughs> <laughs> wow, that's not I something a party would do. I wonder if he's up for a card game. <laughs> a children's card game. Is it time to do 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 do? The Game of Thrones board game for money. Yes. Oh, okay. <laughs> Oh god, I was watching uh, Team Four Stars stuff and they did a bunch of things like just taking the piss out like cell games. <laughs> and they uh, had like a bunch of different people and they had um I remember I can't remember what order with them, but they had like a Ryo and Ken, they had Yugi, they had the um uh, is it uh, Yagami from Death Note? Uh yeah, um, like um some of Yeah, something like that. I know his first name's like Light, but I can't remember what his last name is. Please like you got me or something like that. You do. Like, I like sales responses. Right, right. You stop one of my right. hearts. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Did you use that magic note? But just stop one of my hearts and <laughs> just plows it away. But yeah, yeah. Her, her name is Ursa. <laughs> I'm probably gonna forget that. Just saying. I'll have it written down. Right. As so long as you remember, that's fine. Because I sure as hell won't. So, so you hand that over to, over to Ursa. So now we'll go to Foundren and Willow. What are you guys doing today? Well, I've been looking at spells. So I now have a long list of scrolls I want. <laughs> you show you got a list of them. I've got a list. I mainly third level. Yeah, to be honest, they're the ones that they're the main ones that Maybe you can cast. One or so, two second level. Right. Well, well, what are you, well, what are you looking for? Do you want my list? <laughs> well, well, okay. Let's actually do this role playing. So, um, you don't. Do you know where to go to like get scrolls and stuff, or no? <laughs> right. So, so how are you gonna find out? Ah, <laughs> uh, I don't know. It's kind of walked off without thinking. <laughs> I know. Just look around. Okay. Okay. So, so no, no. How, how, how are you gonna, how are you gonna find out? Who are you gonna ask? What's, what are you gonna do? But I don't want to just like you know, just like give you the location because you know what's the fun in that. Uh, go to the library, find out that way. Okay. How do you, how do you know there's a library in this place? Pardon? How do you know there's a library in this place? And a bookstore. A bookstore. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> same same problem though. Um, I mean, you haven't seen one while you've been here. Yeah, I just have a wander over to the blacksmith and have a uh, nest with him. Oh, okay, so you're going to ask the blacksmith where to go to buy magical scrolls and things. Well, here's some guy who can enchant, so yeah. Were you there for that? I believe so. I was hanging around the place. No, that's fair enough. To... Again, this was like this was like at least a month or two ago now, so I can't remember. <laughs> okay, so... 
Okay, okay, so, okay, so he will go. He will go. Uh, let's have a think. Do do do. Well, I suppose it depends how powerful you need him to be. Um, I know, I know one guy who can do reasonably powerful ones, I guess. But um, uh, let's think. Where is he now? Uh, oh yeah, he's in the um, eastern part of town. Oh, cool. Um, honestly, you can't. Honestly, you can't miss it. Um, let's just say. Let's just say that his uh, house, his place of business, is more out of place than Victor's across the street. Oh, that doesn't <laughs> sound that good. No, don't worry, don't worry. He's not. He's not crazy like Victor is, but his house is just kind of really out there. Yeah, well, you'll see what I mean. Enjoy. Enjoy. And right. he, go he goes back to work. <laughs> okay. Right. Right, so, right, so, um, following his instructions, you should go to the east, the east part of town, um, and you see a, a building there that looks like a giant, what's the best way to describe it? It's not like a wooden stone building building like the rest of them it it's again it's it's just a detached building in the middle of nowhere which looks like i'm trying to think best way i can describe it is you know kind of like um it was in one of the one of the uh, was it one of the dis one of the disney movies where that witch's house was like almost like a toadstool kind of thing it kind of looks like that if you know what i mean I have really... no idea which movie you're about. I have no idea either. I'm trying to think where I've seen it from, and I can't remember. Maybe it's just from a story when I, uh, that I was read when I, that someone read to me when I was a kid. I can't remember. But yeah, essentially, it's um, it's kind of, kind of like um, a round base um, like house, which co which comes up and has a, and has like a massive kind of like roof that kind of like you know points up. The roof kind of looks like a wizard hat. That kind that kind of thing. It, it looks stupidly out of place. Okay. You were wondering. Okay. Okay. Uh, uh, the, the 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 second you uh you walk in, an alarm goes off. Fantastic. Should have probably knocked first. <laughs> oh well. Uh, and he goes goes. goes. And you, you hear a lot of racket from from upstairs. Um, like a lot of banging noises, and then and then you hear so, hears like like um. A uh, pretty heavy footsteps kind of like coming down the stairs, and you can uh, and um, coming through the uh, curtain is a half orc. And he goes, and he goes, yes, yes, hello. Uh, sorry, I forgot to turn off my my alarm system. I have it on at night, and he just kind of, he just kind of like waves his hand, and the alarm goes off, and he just goes, welcome. How can I help? I don't think I've seen you two before. Um, somewhat new. Somewhat, mm. somewhat new. Okay. Yeah, been been out in and out. We haven't been here before, though. For, uh, okay. Uh, may I may I ask for your names? Well, Hi, hello. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I cut you off. <laughs> <laughs> so, w Willow and v v Valden, was it? Yes. Ah, uh, uh, welcome, uh, welcome, welcome. I am Turgnax. Don't judge, please. And um, I run this this um, little shop here. So how can I how can I help you today? The um, little one is looking for some scrolls. Yeah, I like some scrolls. Ah, I see, I see. So, uh, what what might you be looking for? Well, there's a few. <laughs> Well, go ahead. Okay, right. I just list the spells I want to get. Uh, right. One second. I'm just going to, because I get the feeling I'm going to need to. Um... Wait, what do I, I don't know how much they should cost because they cost different things for different classes. Sorry, I I've got my book out. I have a book now. I'm Pathfinder, so I got it out, and then now looking at scores. Okay, one second. I'm just going it tells to. Tells me all the prices.
somebody watching the Big Bang Theory in the background? Oh yeah, I've got the TV on. I just put it back on the wall and just left it on. Oh, for goodness sake. Right, uh, do, 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 do. Right, I'll just do it on here. Right, okay, uh, go ahead. Right, okay, I'm gonna start with the second level ones. Alright. Um, there is one called... Uh, what's it called? <laughs> Hidden Presence and Burning Gaze. Hidden Presence, Burning, burning Gaze. Burning uh -huh. Gaze, okay. And they're and the second level. Yes. Okay, and then uh, what about the third level ones? Right. Um, I make some fire stream. Fire stream. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Uh, do In do 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 one second. Sorry. Fire stream. One word. Hmm. One word. Yeah. Uh, invisibility sphere. Okay. Can I learn beast shape? Can you learn what, sorry? Beast shape. Be like... Is that a well, possible spell? Yeah, it's in my list of spells. But I need a bit of the creature whose form you plan to assume. And it can only be small or medium. Um... Yeah, I guess. Can I do that? <laughs> like, beast shape then, one. <laughs> beast shape one. It is in my list and it doesn't say for... Like certain bloodlines only, so I'm right. assuming. Right. All right. Anything else? Or because uh, this sounds adorable. Pup shape. Pup. I basically turn an animal into a small magical beast that looks a smaller and adorable. <laughs> For which <laughs> just, like, just like, just like, hi, Cinder's turn into a hamster. No, nah, it's like turn an owl bear into like an adorable mini owl bear. Well, that's Can't. that's still trying to kill you. <laughs> well, it takes a minus four to strength. <laughs> so, <laughs> uh, what's the range of that spell? Uh, twenty-five plus five every two levels. Oh, okay. Right. Anything else? Uh, I don't know. Tail strike. T tail strike. Yeah, it's like it's like a tail, like a dragon tail, and then it can hit people with it. Uh, okay, and that's third level again. Yeah, and uh, and. Hostile levitation. Can you repeat that, sorry? Hostile levitation. Oh, hostile. Yeah. Levitation. They take a minus four penalty to bull rush as well as other things, so I thought that might be useful. Oh, <laughs> uh, well, just in case John tries to bull rush you. Yeah. Well, not me, but other people I can use against me. Nick can bull rush them. Oh. <laughs> okay, so he's kind of levitated, and you're like, hey, Jonathan, go get them. <laughs> just take a. Oh, what else they do? They take a minus penalties on attack rolls and a half of strength. <laughs> okay, I well, want... Well, every time you attack them, they take a penalty. Okay, on attack rolls. so I want you to guess... Uh, but I've already 100, guess 50 and below or 51 and up. Um, My luck... 50 and below. 50 and below, okay, he goes... He goes, okay. Okay, I hope you made a note of the guy's name, by the way. <laughs> uh, no. Because <laughs> again, I'm uh, probably not going to forget. No, I don't know why you rolled. Oh, right, I thought you said I rolled. No, no, I said oh. that I rolled. Oh, okay. Okay, yeah. and he goes, okay, I'll, I'll see what I can find from, from that list. Uh, so it's, so he, he, he kind of beckons to kind of take the list from you. Yeah, his list. <laughs> right, yep, yep, and then he, and then he goes... He kind of, he looks at it and he looks up and he's like, okay, hold up, okay, hold on, and he kind of goes to, goes to like, he looks like very organised here, very, very organised, he goes when he goes like, goes like, ah, and he pulls one out and he's like, he looks at it and he's like, 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 yeah, that's fine, he kind of puts it to one side and he goes up. And he kind of, he moves like, a like, one of those, like, like, um, ladders, like, moves, like, sideways along. Mm -hmm. Kind of like one of those. He, he moves that along and he goes to the next one. And he, and he does that and he pulls out. Um, he pulls out eight scrolls. Nice. Right, and I'm going to need a calculator for this. 
right. And he goes, and he goes, okay. So, and then, and then he goes through, he goes through the scrolls, and he, and he's like, I believe this is all you, you all, all you asked for. Yep. Uh, sorry. Hang on. And he goes, and he goes, okay. So, for all of these scrolls, all of them, um, that will cost you. Three thousand one hundred gold. That is fine. Yep. Fine. Yay! Is, is Valden wanted to step in or? Um, I'd probably forget I'll, I died the scrolls. What sorry? Did I'd probably forget that I had the scrolls and I won't use them. No, 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 no. By stepping, what I basically mean is because you came along just to make sure she wasn't getting like ripped off and such. All oh, right. Um, so I can repeat how much. Three three thousand one hundred. How many scrolls? Eight. Uh, can I do like a quick appraisal? Uh, sure, go ahead. But, um, you're not entirely sure. You don't think she's getting ripped off, but you honestly don't know. Uh, which one does Haggle come under? Haggle, uh, probably diplomacy is probably what it would come under. Because there's no, there's no like persuasion like in fifth edition. Diplomacy, uh, diplomacy, diplomacy. Yeah. I got some prisma, damn it. But by the way, just because I'm going to start kind of being quiet probably for too long, I am probably going to cut this session kind of a bit shorter than most. Um, once you kind of, you know, once like Dan's been healed up, and once you kind of get done these things, I'll be it. And speak of the devil. When are you off to bed? Right. Okay, so... Okay, so... Um... Uh, di uh, diplomacy... I can't remember what diplomacy is. It's probably charisma. No, yeah, it is. Yeah. Um, you said 3,800, right? 3,100. Oh, 3,100. Um... Willow, uh... How much do you have on you? Uh... 5,900. Uh, thousand eight hundred. Oh what? well, no. wait, but wait, how much? Sorry, I said two thousand eight hundred. So I kind of got and he, goes, off, and he goes, he goes, no, no, um, three thousand one hundred. I'm not trying to. I'm not ripping. I'm not one of these people who rips you off. I just ask for what it's worth. Seems trustworthy I, to me. I think. Just everybody. <laughs> yeah, fast. but. Is well, it's up to Willow at the end of the day if she's going to spend that much. Yes, I will. <laughs> right. Um, I'm just going to have to. I'm just going to try and quickly look up rules about copying spells. Oh, hang on, uh... 
Okay, okay, so that's how it works. Right. Okay, so, um, what I'll, what I'll say is now, now, now I'll look to wonder if you ever copied a, a spell from a scroll to a spell book before? Nope. Okay, that's well, okay, well, well, there's a few things that I should just kind of probably mention, okay? Mm -hmm. You know? Because I, I just want to make sure you get them copied down as soon as possible, okay? Now. Uh, hang on, sorry. Uh, do, do, do. Hang on, sorry. I'm just looking at one last thing. Uh, just, oh, just so you know, every spell book has a hundred pages, technically. So you can have a hundred okay. spells in a book. You can have multiple books, so you are allowed to have multiple books. Okay, okay, okay here we go, here we go, okay, here we go, okay. Now, you have to supply things like ink and things like that to write things into your book, okay? And first, before you even try and write things down, make sure that you fully understand what the spell is what it does kind of like how you get it to to you know actually cast successfully because if you don't and you try and write it down something will go wrong and i've seen people seen it happen to people it's not pretty okay right okay okay i usually it's a good idea if you you it usually depends on the person but usually on average it's about it's about one hour per scroll to study it mm -hmm. Then, depending on how powerful the spell is, it's usually 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 the more powerful spells are the ones that you have to spend the longest time actually, you know, writing into the spell book to make sure it's right. And obviously, there is a a um, a material cost to also writing these spells into your spell book. Right. Right. Okay. 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 So, just looking at these spells here. Including the time to study them, if you get them all first time, that is... Ooh. Right, and I'm going to have to... and I will work this out myself. Uh, so... Okay, who got? Who got? Who got? Who got? Okay, so for all these eight scrolls and the time it will take you to copy them down, it will probably take about at if it's first time, probably thirty hours in total to get them all copied down. And in terms of cost, you're probably looking at something like um, probably about six hundred and twenty gold in cost to copy them all into your spellbook. On top of what you're paying me. Okay. 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 So, are you gonna pay him the three thousand one hundred then? Yes. Okay. So you got. So, so he goes. It's a pleasure doing. It's a pleasure doing business with the little one. Uh, come on, come on back. Okay. Right. So how would the six twenty? Do I spend that? Wherever you are. <laughs> How do I spend? Like, the 620 material cost? It will be kind of like as you're writing the spells in. It'll okay. Depending on what... Because it depends on the level spell as to what it costs. Right. Um, I just totaled it all up. So do I take it off now or do I take it off later? Don't, don't take it off now. Take it off okay. later. T t take it off when you can, like, read that spell. Right. Right. Okay. So, is there anything Valden wants? Um... No. Okay. Sorry, my neck is hurting way too much for this. No, it's fine. Okay, I'll I'll bring it to I'll bring it to a close um, shortly then. Um, so, so uh, we can't really do Jonathan's repension. So, does Willow is Willow over the next three days going mm. to be going to be wanting to? <laughs> um, well, well, suppose if, well, if we can just let you just have Marceline just hit you a couple of times, and then just call that it. Yeah, that's what I wanted. Been fucking waiting. <laughs> well, we'll do it without Will here because Will isn't here at the moment. Okay. Oh. So that's essentially what's just going to happen, all right? Okay. So, so uh, and then I don't know what you're going to do for 
rest. We'll come to that later. So, um, Willow, uh, which spell were you wanted to do first? Hmm. Uh, the invisibility sphere one first. Invisibility sphere. Okay. So I need you to make a. Uh, sorry, one second. Dude, well, technically, you should, you're should supposed to be a wizard to do this, but you know what, bug right? I don't give a damn. I know. It's similar. So sure. Right, so I want you to make me a uh, um, spellcraft check. Uh, by the way, what school of oh. magic is the spell part of? Um, illusion. Okay. So yeah, you just make me yourself a spellcraft check. Oh god. Um, spellcraft. It's quite good. Okay, yeah, yeah. Um, after reading it for about an hour, uh, you feel like you've got... You feel like you understand it, and you could write it down now. Cool. Do I just have to do this for every spell? <laughs> um, you will. Uh, you will do. Yeah, but but once again, we'll do it kind of like as and, as and when you come around to it. So yeah. so are you just copying it down? This is a level three spell, correct? Yeah, level three. Okay, so writing this in your spell book is going to take three hours. On top okay. of that, on top of that hour, and it's going to cost okay. you ninety gold. Right. Okay. Okay. So to be honest, you have enough time over the three days to kind of get them all. So yeah. So so let's go with the next one. So. Which one are you doing next? Uh, fire stream. Uh, which is level three again? Yeah. Right. So the minus the nine curious. Okay. Uh, hold up. Uh, make it a roll first. Oh, okay. Yep, yeah, you definitely got this one. And yeah, it will take another three hours and another ninety. Okay. Uh, so that's eight hours gone. So it's probably at this time getting towards the evening. You might be able to fit in one more. Uh, B shape. Uh, B B shape. Is that level yeah. three again? Yeah, that's good. I can make them all. Um, yep, that's good. Ooh, again, another ninety gold, another three hours. So yeah, it will come to the it will come to the end of the day. Mm -hmm. And you've got those three done. Right. Um. So so we'll just kind of keep going with you for the time being. So next one. Okay. Um. What's the next one? Uh, pup shape. <laughs> Alright, go ahead. Um, yep. That's fine. Another 90 and 4 hours total. Next. Hostile Levitation. Uh, what level is that? Uh, that's also 3. Uh, this time yeah. you do not. Oh, you don't feel oh. like you got. A... Now, something to keep in mind is that. Um, um, I've... Where the hell did I read this? Oh yeah, what what school of magic is that spell from? Uh, what hostile levitation? Mhm. Mm uh, transmutation. Yeah, I didn't think it was from yours. Right, sorry. Uh. Right. Yeah. Um, out of character, you can't choose that one again for another week. Right. Okay. You can try again in a week's time. So, right. so make a note of that that you can't do that one for the other seven days. Okay. And just count the days off as and when it goes. Okay. Right. So, okay. so, so, um, the only upside is that one does not take you the additional three hours. Okay. <laughs> it does take you one to try and understand, and you fail. So, mm -hmm. uh, which one you do next? Uh, hidden presence. Is that level three again? No, that's level two. I right, go ahead. Uh -huh. Oh. Okay. Um. Likewise with that one, you got to wait a week. Uh, next one. Uh, tail strike. That's level three. Okay. Uh, likewise with that one. Doing well. <laughs> <laughs> and right. burning gaze. Okay. Last one. Uh, that one that's is level two. that's level two. That one you get. 
Uh, also, okay. uh, what what school magic is it from? Um, evocation. Yeah, you yeah. If it's from your school magic, you get a plus two bonus on it. Okay. Cool. So yeah, yeah, that one will cost you. That's level two, yeah. Yeah. That'll cost you forty gold and take you another two hours. So yeah, yeah. Okay. By about by about four or five p.m. Um, on the second day, you've you know you've got the three that you don't understand that you got to read again, and you've yeah. got the others in your spellbook. Right. Okay. So is anyone else doing anything else? Beforehand, or you just is it is is anyone mm -hmm. else doing anything else in the next few days, or shall we just skip until then? Oh yeah, I am going. By the way, I am just going to kind of assume that Dan will be healed by the time we get there. Yeah. So, so I'm actually going to call the session here. Because my dad is just about to go to bed, I don't really want to try. I try. I don't really want to make that much noise. And um, perfect timing. Yep. Yeah, yep. Yeah, sorry. Well, um, <laughs> basically, we just had you punch Jonathan a few times. That was it. Wait, right. why was he punching Jonathan? Uh, but, um, to help Jonathan repent for getting that guy arrested. Dunch. Where's my dunch? <laughs> Yeah, I was going to straight up hit him with a sword. Yeah, I'd rather be hit with a sword. Okay, fine. Do you smite evil? Smite evil? Do you yeah. smite evil and do the attack and do the um, damage roll for smite evil? I should make you do a critical damage, but I won't do that. I was, I was hoping it would be critical. <laughs> wow, Mike. That would be so funny. Holy shit. Actually, you know what? I want you to roll. I mean, it would help you really I... to no, repent. Marceline, Marceline, I actually want you to roll an attack in case you get to roll 20. Oh, yeah, I'm gonna. Give me exactly what I'm just talking about. Alright, I'm going to bed. Alright, I'll get. Because I'm using a macro, I'm just gonna add to it with this, because that's what I'm gonna do. Alright. It doesn't really matter, as long as you don't roll one, you're fine. Okay. Uh, can, can you can you roll that again? Cause that is a cr crit chance. Really? Using great stuff, aren't you? Yeah. Nineteen. Yeah, nineteen twenty. That's a definite confirm. R roll crit damage. I'm an evil outsider as well. I don't think you're an outsider, no. So... <laughs> 16 plus 5 is 21. 21. You double the dice, so 21. And then... No, it's, it's double everything. Oh, is Pathfinder different in that regard? Yeah, yeah, Pathfinder's double everything. Oh, that's shit, that's... 42. 26, then. What, 26? Oh, 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 26. Oh, hold, hold, um, hold up, did you smite evil? Yeah, I just remember what smite evil does exactly. It's at least push your pardon level, doubled, so it's at least like another plus like 12, I think. Adds a pardon level to all the damage rolls, so that adds 5 to that. Oh, you're on level 5? Oh, level 5 in pardon, yeah. Oh, okay, fair enough. So, so yeah, that's another 10 damage, Jonathan. Okay. Oh yeah, that was a double limit, so... 36 overall. But you're not an outsider. Or undead, or a dragon. <laughs> okay. Yeah. But, Just but, that. But yeah, yeah, he's good, he's good. He's good then. Right. Yeah! I've repented. <laughs> right, so, right so, 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 so now you may heal yourself, huh? No, I'm keeping it. Yeah, keeping it for the night. Yeah. Okay, it's so the next day. Do you want to heal yourself now? Yeah. yeah. Do you want to heal yourself now, Jonathan? It's the next day. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> Fine, I will. It seems a bit wrong, though, to heal it. Straight afterwards. Well, no, no, it's the next day. I suppose so. Alright. 
is it? It's like 3D, 3, 4, D6, it's, isn't it? No, it's 4, D6 now. Right. Because I'm level 6. 4, D6. I guess I'm 2. Level 6, you get an extra one, and then I've got a feat that gives me an extra if I don't need. Yeah, the, the uh, mercy, uh, isn't it? Nurses. Yeah. Uh, fuck it, just slap me twice. <laughs> I think it's telling me not to heal me. <laughs> There's a lot of ones there. Yeah, there is. Another two down. There we go. Yeah, you're back that's at max, that's fine. Yeah, okay. So, if no one wants to do anything for the third day, um, okay. what, what we'll do now is, um, I'm going to call it here before you go see Lily, okay? Mm -hmm. Right, so I'm going to give you all um, uh, 500 XP for, to for today. Mm -hmm. I, I know it's not much, but still. Yeah. I mean, didn't considering really all I did was get it. carried around. <laughs> we didn't I, mean, really I do got anything. quite a lot of experience. Dropping a bit Okay, so... So, just so everyone's aware, I had to will this earlier, but Will doesn't have any restrictions, really, for making characters for his 5th edition game when he starts running it. Is it definitely 5th edition? It's... it's... it's gonna be... it's gonna sound like it's gonna be 5th edition, yeah. I've, like, the three main books for that, and I don't think I've got anything proper in there. Well, actually, no, I think I've got a star kit for Pathfinder, but I've got the three proper books for 5th. Right. Ah, right. Best year the um, GM manual and the player manual. So. Okay. Is it 15D or is it Pathfinder? 15D. Right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, I mean it'll, it'll help you differentiate between characters for my game and his game because his game's 5th edition, it's different rules out really. But, but yeah, but yeah so, so that'll be it for this session. So thank, thank you everyone for watching. This is Cookie 30.